Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Avalanche, Polygon, Terra, these are all disconnected separate blockchains and transferring funds between them is a challenging but potentially lucrative business opportunity. I've mentioned before that I'm waiting for a market leader to emerge in this field and I think we might be seeing that now with Multichain who recently rebranded from Anyswap. They've attracted nearly $7 billion in total value locked and have become a market leader in their space. Multichain has the support of some of the biggest names in the industry, such as Binance and Free Arrows Capital, who recently gave the company a $1.1 billion valuation. The native Any token is being migrated to a multi-token with revamped tokenomics. Could this be the catalyst that Multichain needs to become the market leader in cross-chain transfers? My name is James Buccini, and I make educational content about digital assets, DeFi, and blockchain development. I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. AnySwap started out as a decentralized exchange, but throughout 2021, they started to shift their attention to developing their bridging protocol, which has become their main product. This works by multi-chain running a separate network of nodes, which is all interconnected out to different blockchains. A transaction can come in from one blockchain, this will be recorded by the nodes, and they can send a transaction out from there to the other blockchain. This interoperability provides a data transfer and a funds transfer layer between chains. Right, let's demonstrate how to use this. So if we go into the app to start with, this is at multichain.org. And I'm currently logged into Metamask and I'm on the Polygon mainnet network and I've got a few Matic tokens in my account. So let's try transferring some of them to the Binance Smart Chain. And it's worth noting that not all assets or not all networks are available. It's only assets which have been already transferred by multi-chain or a third party and there's like a version of US dollar Tether on each network where you can exchange them. The minimum amount here is 3.6 Matic, so let's transfer 4 Matic. And the fees here are quite extortionate because I'm transferring such a low amount for demonstration purposes. There's a minimum cross-chain fee of 1.8 Matic, but generally, this is, but generally once you go above that, it's a 0.1% transaction fee. Let's confirm this transaction. And it says here that the estimated time of cross-chain arrival is 10 to 30 minutes. So we'll come back when that's gone through. All right, one well, epic burrito later and we are back. So let's have gone through now. Uh, let's refresh the page. Now, if we wanted to check this was in our wallet, we'd go to BSC scan because this is on Binance Smart Chain now. We'd copy the token address by Googling BSC scan Matic token. And then if we go to MetaMask, Let's go down to Binance Smart Chain. And oh, I've already got the token here. But if you didn't, you could import the tokens by pasting the contract address in here. You can see it's said it. Already got them. So there we have it. We've done a cross-chain transfer from Polygon to Binance Smart Chain. Another thing that I wanted to show you was the Block Explorer. Because multi-chain is across so many different networks, we can use it as a gauge for where industry sentiment is shifting. I wrote a little script for this, which takes the last 1,000 transactions off multi-chain and it prints out what percentage of transactions are going where, to, to which network, and also which assets are being moved. This is open source on my GitHub account, and if we run it on Node.js, we can see that 27% of the transactions have gone to Binance Smart Chain, including the one we just sent ourselves. There are 38% to Phantom. If you scroll down to the assets, we can see that a lot of the tokens that are being used are the AnySwap tokens, and that's because they're more interoperable between different blockchains. Also, Magic Internet Money has 15% of the transactions, which shows just how popular Abracadabra is becoming. I did hit some rate limits when setting this up, which meant I wasn't able to do it with persistent storage and kind of look at data over a longer period of time. If you want to set this up yourself, there's some instructions here. You need Node.js and be fairly familiar with development and command line tools. So let's talk a little bit about the funding round. Binance Labs led the round, they valued the company at over a billion dollars, and Multichain was able to raise 60 million at that valuation. Other VCs involved were Free Arrows Capital, Defiance Capital, and the Tron Foundation. Binance already lists the Any token on their exchange, and I expect to see markets opening up for the multi token in the not too distant future. The funding has given the team at Multichain a strong budget to further develop the product and promote it out to a wider audience. And the final thing we need to talk about is the multi-tokenomics. 
Multi is being traded one for one with the previous Any token. And you can do that on the multi chain website to swap them across. The Any token had a fixed total supply of 100 million and a circulating supply of just under 19% of that. I'd expect that same structure to be carried across to the multi token. What's not totally familiar is whether the funding round in December included equity or tokens or a combination of both. The docs for Multichain do mention a vesting schedule, and I'd expect that has something to do with this funding round or previous funding rounds running up to it. One really interesting thing from an investment point of view was the mention of a upgraded tokenomics for the VE multi token. I think this is going to follow a curve type structure, and we've seen how successful the curve wars have been, and I've spoken about them before in previous video. The one thing that's missing here is how to get yield for the multi token. Obviously, you can provide liquidity into the Multichain protocol itself. I think a staking system or a kind of a governance system similar to Curve could really drive a lot of value to the token price and the economics of the whole ecosystem. We're already living in a multi-chain digital economy. We have been really since late 2020 when Binance Smart Chain was released. Moving funds between these chains is going to be a big business one day, and multi-chain have positioned themselves well with a good platform, VC funding, the backing of some of the biggest players in the space and an expanding protocol to covering more and more networks and digital assets moving forwards. If you're interested in staying up to date with the latest in DeFi and blockchain technology, then subscribe to the channel, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, and thank you for making it to the end.